Hi coffee lovers, are you tired of making the same basic latte art like they had tulip, swan and rosetta like all baristas do? Today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your latte art skills from pouring the basic latte art designs to pouring the advanced latte art design like professional baristas do. I'm going to be sharing three of my favorite advanced latte art designs that you should start with. This will help you stand out amongst other baristas and also create that mind-blowing latte art designs for your customers and friends. 90% of baristas are unable to make these advanced latte art designs because they are very hard to master. They require a lot of time and consistent practice so that you can be able to learn them. But in this video, I'm going to show you the key steps that you can take so that you can be able to make an advanced latte art design on your cup of coffee. First step, if you want to advance your latte art skills, you're going to first need to learn the foundation of latte art. The four basic latte art designs, we have the heart, tulip, swan and the rosetta because they will give you the skills that you're going to need to advance like learning how to steam milk perfectly and create that perfect milk texture for latte art and extracting a good shot of espresso it will equip you with the skills of how to perfectly hold your cup and milk jug while pouring your latte art if you're a beginner barista i would advise you to first learn the basic latte art designs before trying the advanced latte art patterns which are also known as the free powers these are my favorite three advanced latte art designs that i'm going to be showing you how you can make them using my step-by-step -step guide showing you the tips that you can use to master them within a short period of time the first latte art is going to be a seahorse this is a type of a fish that's found in the ocean it has a long body and a dorsal fin at the back of the seahorse so when we are pouring a seahorse we're going to start by steaming your milk Start by pouring small tulips which will act as the dorsal fin at the back of the seahorse then we're going to pour next two small rosettas which will be the body of the seahorse then we're going to finish with pouring the stomach and the head of the seahorse this is very important when you are pouring the head and the stomach of the seahorse you only need the foam of the milk so if you still have milk in your jug you're going to need to pour it before starting to pour the stomach and the head so this is how you can make a seahorse latte art the second advanced latte art is going to be a pegasus this is a type of a horse with wings it's often talked about in the Greek mythology. So when we are making our pegasus, we're going to start by steaming milk for making latte art. Then pour two small rosettas, which is going to be the wing of the pegasus and also the neck of the pegasus. After pouring the two small rosettas, we're going to pour a big rosetta, which is going to be the body of the pegasus. Then pouring one more small rosetta, which is going to be the cloud where the pegasus is standing. Then we're going to finish by pouring the legs and the head of the pegasus. Still, you need only foam when you're pouring the legs and the head of the pegasus, as we did for the seahorse. This is how you can pour a pegasus, which is a flying horse with only one wing, considering the way it's standing on your cup of coffee. This is our third advanced latte art pattern, which is a rose latte art with two leaves. This is my personal favorite of all the three because it's not very complicated when you're making it and it's very easy to master. Let me show you. So when we are pouring our rose latte art, we're going to start by steaming our milk for latte art. Then pouring a figure eight, which is going to be the base of our petals. Then we're going to pour small layers, which is going to be the petals of our rose flower. And at the base of the cup, we're going to pour two small rosettas, which is going to be the two leaves of our rose flower. 
then finishing with the line which is the stem of our flower this is how you can make an advanced latte art of a rose latte art on your cup of coffee like a professional barista these are the three advanced latte art designs that i have perfected done very well but i'm also practicing on these two more advanced latte art designs that i'm going to share with you next this is the advanced latte art that i am currently practicing and trying to perfect so i'm going to start by steaming milk and trying to make this same latte art Your first trial might not be very perfect, but with consistent practice, you can grow to make that perfect latte art on your cup of coffee. So the second advanced latte art that I'm trying is this one. So I'm also going to steam my milk and also try making this same latte art on my cup of coffee. I believe within time I will be able to make these two advanced latte art patterns very perfect. These are some of the advanced latte art designs that I believe that you should start practicing and trying to perfect on very well because this is what you're going to need to stand out as a barista and grow to become a professional barista. I have made many videos about learning how to steam milk like a beginner and also how you can make your first latte art design on your cup of coffee. I would recommend you watch this video next because it's going to be very helpful for you as a beginner barista and also as an advanced barista you can easily upgrade your latte art skills if you can be able to steam your milk perfectly.